The deep sea is a world of mystery, a place where sunlight can never reach, and creatures exist beyond human imagination. But something strange is happening, something that has scientists and the public on high alert. Giant oarfish, deep sea anglerfish, and other abyssal creatures are rising to the surface, washing up on beaches, or being found in unexpected places. These creatures belong in the darkness, thousands of meters below. So why are they appearing now? Recent sightings that shocked the world February 2025. Canary Islands, a fisherman on the shores of Tenerife, discovered a massive, 15-foot-long oarfish struggling in shallow waters. The creature, rarely seen alive, was weak and barely moving. As people gathered to watch, the ocean around them felt eerily silent. March 2025, Mexico. Days later, another oarfish appeared in Mexico. Unlike the first. This one was alive and disoriented. Marine biologists attempted to guide it back into the deep, but something was clearly wrong. April 2025, deep sea anglerfish sighting. Then came a sight that no one expected. A deep sea anglerfish, one of the most terrifying creatures of the abyss, was spotted near the surface in the Pacific Ocean. Known for their glowing lures and razor sharp teeth, these creatures typically live over 2,000 meters below sea level. One or two cases might be dismissed as rare occurrences, but three in a row? This raises serious questions. Are these animals trying to escape something? Are they predicting an earthquake? Or is there something even more terrifying happening deep in the ocean? Theories of doom, natural disasters, and folklore: the doomsday fish, theory, ancient beliefs, and Japanese folklore. For centuries, fishermen in Japan have believed that the oarfish, also called the messenger from the sea god's palace, appears before devastating earthquakes and tsunamis. But could there be some truth to this legend? 2011 oarfish sightings before the Japan earthquake, in the months before the catastrophic 2011 Japan earthquake and tsunami, multiple oarfish were spotted along the coast. Some were found washed up on beaches; others were caught in fishing nets. Disaster struck a magnitude 9.0 earthquake, triggered one of the deadliest tsunamis in modern history. Other historic cases, similar patterns have been observed before major quakes in the Philippines, Taiwan, and California. Climate change, oxygen depletion, and human activity. The climate chain connection. Scientists warn that climate change is not only affecting weather patterns but also disrupting ocean life. Deep sea creatures live in cold, stable environments. But as ocean temperatures rise, their habitats are being disturbed. Oxygen depletion and dead zones, climate change and pollution, are creating massive dead zones areas of the ocean with dangerously low oxygen levels. Many deep sea creatures rely on oxygen-rich waters. If these zones expand, creatures may be forced to move closer to the surface to survive. Human disturbance. Deep sea mining and sonar interference. The ocean floor is being invaded by industrial activity. Mining operations, sonar testing, and submarine activity are disrupting the deep sea ecosystem. Could these disturbances be scaring creatures away from their natural habitat? The future of our oceans. What this means for humanity? Are we running out of time? If deep sea creatures are moving toward the surface, it could mean that drastic changes are occurring beneath the waves. Whether due to climate change, human interference, or natural disasters, the consequences could be severe. Protecting our oceans to truly understand what's happening, we need to invest more in ocean research, protect deep sea habitats, and take action against climate change before it's too late. The ocean is speaking. Are we listening? What do you think? Are these deep sea creatures predicting something, or is science the real answer? Leave a comment below. Subscribe for more deep sea mysteries, and stay tuned for the latest discoveries from the abyss.